Hello, welcome back to Curiously Exploring with Teresa Branson. We made a little short video at the old Long Pine Baptist Church. The church burnt and it had a little small graveyard there. It only had 35 members at that church. I've been researching and trying to figure out what happened there. Can't find any information on how the church burnt down or anything or when it burnt. Um, the only thing that i seen was something about 1908. Well, today, we're right down the road from that cemetery and where that church burnt. And we are at the Long Pine United Methodist Church. Now, this church was organized in 1700. And the church was actually built... I really wish we could go in, but I don't think that it would be unlocked. But this church was built in the 1700s, and it is the oldest deeded church in the state of North Carolina. This church is um, <clears throat> kind of amazing. Uh, you can see... It now has siding on it. It has been updated, at least on the outside. Um, the church was actually deeded in 1908. I did my research before coming back and making this video. Um, and I don't know if it has restrooms inside or whatever. I figured that's just a church, you know, congregation building. Because... Right here's restrooms. You see the men's room and the women, the ladies. And this building right here is their exalt, auxiliary building, excuse me. Um, they have dinners here and um, they do have, um, let's see here. They do have. Sunday school and I don't know if they did a Sunday school in here or if it's in the main church building but this building here is new and this is the original building it's just been updated um, you can tell it's one of the older type buildings because the high ceilings the how high the roof and stuff is there I don't know if you can tell <coughs> On this video but it has a very it's very tall and it does not have an upstairs so that's one way of being able to tell older buildings they built them high um, like I said I figure it's locked this day and time um, this church was broken into in uh, 2014 by someone so, that tells me that they keep it locked. Look, there's a prayer menace. Can you see that guy? It's a prayer menace. <laughs> or a live walking stick one. I'm not sure which. I don't even know if there's any difference or anything. So, now we're going to mosey on out here to the graveyard. Um, there's table things out there I'm not sure what that's for but this is a long time long pine Methodist Church graveyard cemetery um, two separate churches with two separate graveyards so we may do spirit box at both um, first grave we come to Yep, to 1930 and 1929. Don't walk on graves, please. I'm not, I'm in the corner now. Um, this church was established in 1700. 1700? Mm -hmm. Well, no, the building is actually old. It's been updated. They did some upgrades on it. This is a grave. I don't know. I know the person wasn't that tall, but... 
Um, the way you can always tell older buildings, if you look at the front and the back of that church, how tall it is, and it's only one story. It's got high, it's probably got nine plus foot ceilings in it. That's how you can tell the older houses, older buildings, is they're always taller for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> they always build them with high ceilings in them. But um, it's been updated. It's got vinyl or some kind of siding on it now. I'm sure that originally it was clapboard. That's what I'm talking about. And you know it's old. The bathrooms are outside, separate from the church. That's what that cinder block building is, is the bathrooms. Oh, my. That's what they're building there. I thought that was the future. But, um... It's, it's got some pretty old graves here. That I did my research before we come to this one. The actual church was built in 1700. It was established in 1700. That don't mean that the building was actually built in 1700. That means because a lot of people are very confused. The church is just, I mean, that's just the building. The actual church is the congregation. So, the congregation of the church established in 1700. This church was deeded in 1908. Now, I don't know if that means that the building was built in 1908 or if they just finally deeded it. But this one right here is 1855 to 1924. Hold up. Okay. Not 1855 to 1940, and 1848 or 46. Can't really tell. Hold on. To 1924. That was definitely. And this is probably a baby. Yeah. Oh Lord, that one's two people. 1916 to 1921. Which way he's buried? But that's a he was five years old. William was five when he died. That's sad. Yep. But there's... <clears throat> I do have my thousand rods with me, and we could use Necrophonic or the regular spirit box. Yeah, the only one I can use is Necrophonic. But I don't, um, my, I don't have my Bluetooth speaker with me. This one doesn't have a date on it anywhere. It's yeah. Watson. Yeah. Nancy Jane Watson, not eighteen fifty two to nineteen thirty five. You're not recording. Yes, I am. Well, it don't look like it's I am. I can't tell the date on this one. Yeah, her, her phone didn't look like it was recording. It ain't a phone; it's a camera. I'm not sure how these graves are. I really don't want to step on nobody's grave. They're really awful close together. This one must be relatively new, 2004. I wonder why they know. Look out. Frank T. Rogers, 1860 to 1944. Um, and then in the day. What's that slanted one say? I'm not even going to go 1862 to 1893. Where? That one right there. This one? No, they don't want to say it this one? It is Ella Watson, wife of F.T. Rogers. I can't read none of these. April 16th, 1862 to July 1st of 1893. So they were. They call the ground, 61, I guess. And this is, uh. 
Cornel Cornelia Lee Watson. 1857 to 1887. Michael Watson, born December 22nd, 1805. Died January the 2nd, 1884. Them are fairly new. Them types are really popular here. The ones just like There's a whole Watson family right up in here. Look, the big Watson main statue over there. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you, I really think they put a lot more effort in the older tombstones than they do the newer ones. I just, I don't know. I mean, a lot of them's prettier. A lot of the older tombstones are prettier. I like them because they just look so old. It makes me think of the Undertaker. Like when okay. I look at that right there, I used to think of the Undertaker and Jason Voorhees. John yeah. W. Like son of... I can't even... I can't thing. make it out. Man, that feels so raw. It almost looks like... It almost looks like that cardboard. Some stone that you'd sit out in your backyard for Halloween. Mama. There goes some that we were, uh, look. World War II, Korea. Where? Right there. I mean, yeah, I know. Where? <laughs> look, look, Rogers. Yeah. Well, that name is somewhere. I can't remember. I think it's in South Carolina. Not been old. This is Vietnam. R-M-I-U-S Navy, Vietnam. I don't know what that is. Well, there's two soldiers here. This one is the World War II veteran. Yep, this is the same type that is over there at the World War II Korea and Vietnam. That's the same. That's the military. U.S. Army. Airborne. This guy right here. <coughs> Mom, the same. Hey, this dude today. This same dude is over there. He's practicing. Oh, he's on his. He's definitely on his. Another one. Gone knows. but not forgotten. Now that's, that's impressive. Look. We done passed the little kid. Ben. Born March 1873, died 1905. Now this is where you know that they were back in the Western Union. <laughs> okay. So come here and tell me what this means. Now the one with the little cross. <coughs> that is, that is back in the cross. That's, uh, that's, that's the Nazi symbol. No, that's not. It's got a, like a Confederate flag card in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows what this is, if this, um, knows what this symbolifies, comment below. I'm sure it has South Carolina. something to do with service, 1861 to 1865. Confederate? D.O. Something, I don't know, it's dirty. It does look like a military thing, right? It's probably for the Confederate Army. Well, this is back in the cowboy days. These were broken and have been mended back together. And here's little kids, ba babies right here. Infant son. Infant son. Betty Lou. Hey, that's Granny's name. Right. Yeah, it is. Betty. Daughter of. Oh, no, I'm oh. Go that baby only lived two months and three days. And then mother, too. Wow, that one back there must have died at birth or 
been born, stillborn, and then that one only lived a day. Oh, that's sad. Mama gets cooked, uh, cooked by the leaves of the counter, but she really doesn't need to see. Here's a Vietnam veteran. Uh, I'm about to go to you all to a grave. A vet veteran? Oh, that's cool. Well, that's probably military. It is, it's a veteran, it's a Vietnam veteran. And this is World War II veteran. Yeah, his is older though. He got that ancient history. He must have went when times was rough. I'm trying to get over there to that one. That kid died at eight years old. What about this one? I don't know, it just has the 1922 on it. Was that the year that he was born and did? I don't know. Now this one right here kind of like, uh, from standing here, it looks like there's a, there's a head there. It's like a person standing up. Straight up with yeah, a head. I'm charging. I'm recording. Yeah. If y'all see that, let me know. It looks like a person standing up, that white piece. With black That's around it. Is. Huh? Where they did that on my purpose? battery's draining. It was fully charged when we first got here. I didn't bring my other camera. Well, well, we might need to make a short one then instead of trying to use the spirit bar. Oh, yeah, we probably need to come back. I have to make sure that my spare batteries are charged and everything. Susanna Rayfield. Rayfield. And Benjamin T. Rayfield. Hey, dude, that's not funny. You're still on my name. <laughs> See like we've been here and I've been recording. Look how this one's kind of sunk in right there. No, no. I, I've seen that. And, and this graveyard is being took over by Anthony. And it's a U.S. Army veteran World War II. Yeah, he is sunk in on him. Alright, at the other graveyard, y'all, y'all look at the... I, I want to go and see if the... Uh, Preacher of the gospel has been buried yet. This was a wife of someone. Preacher wife. of the gospel? Yeah, his, his hole was dug. The pastor, you mean? It said preacher of the gospel. Oh. Where at? The church, church the house. Oh, above the house? Yeah. So, this is another hour. short video. <laughs> to go with my other short video at the other graveyard um i'm probably gonna compose them together and um make it as one it's from two separate graveyards because uh that still won't be very long or i may just make it two i don't know i mean we did one a couple days ago and this one today um it don't really matter. I, I'll figure it out. But, uh, we're gonna bring you more content. Start bringing you more content. Um, just gotta get my get up and go. Cause there for a while my get up and go got up and went. Um, I will be also making a video on my vlog channel soon. Um, it's about <laughs> personal things. But the vlog channel is kind of about our life and stuff anyway so it is what it is um just some events that have taken place some stuff that we've went through and it's a video that i'd really like to get out there and we would like for everybody to see um because uh yeah You'll see it when you see it. Um, when when I make it, I'll, I will share it on Facebook. Um, just <laughs> keep eye out for more videos. We'll be back to this uh, cemetery and the one that we made the first video at. And we'll use our spirit box. Uh, we're going to be going back to the 1800s grave yard and doing another video there and another 30 minute alone challenge there they do a 30 minute alone challenge at the one up there don't want to do any uh nighttime videos 
too late here. I don't want to get the law caught on us for being at a church real late at night. But anyway, <clears throat> we're going to end this video off. So remember, you're in control of your own destiny. You have to make your own decisions. You have to live by the decisions that you make. Choose your decisions wisely because they can't affect other people. <laughs> and uh, stay safe. Keep yourself safe. Keep your family safe. God bless. And until next time, peace.